So we're going to rescue a casualty this time who has abseil down and they've got stuck on the knot. We're assuming it's damaged rope, so we can't just take the knot out. There's a couple of different approaches to this. Um, I could stay underneath the knot, and that can feel simple, but if this knot's a little bit lower than that one, everything can end up being quite awkward. So I'm going to demonstrate a slightly different way, uh, and then it doesn't matter if this knot's a little bit lower, it should still work out fine. So I'm going to climb up until I'm underneath the knot, and I want to get myself above the knot on my working rope. So I'll put my new back up on above. I'm just going to put my back up on my working rope so I've got two points. I can then jump my crawl over. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit higher. And while I'm still in my crawl, I'm going to re-anchor my working rope onto a hand ascender above me again on my working rope. So, steal the casualty hand ascender. So I'm going to tie a figure of eight knot underneath the alpine that's already there. And I'm going to re-anchor it onto that hand ascent. So I'm doing all of this while I'm still in my crawl. So now, when I change into my descender, It's on the rope that goes down the ground with no knots in it. So when I come out of the crawl, that's me past the knots, and I'm now at a good height to perform the rescue like I would do normally. So my hand ascender can come off, and I can get my connections between the two of us. So I'll put the cow's tail into the waist, I'm going to use a couple of carabiners as a short link. So they're going to go from the casualty's chest into the carabiner on my descender. We've got two points between us, so the casualty's backup can come off. And now the casualty's descender. Now you would normally just lower someone off at this point and descend, but the knot's here, so I can't do that. So I'm going to have to lift them up and disconnect them. So I'm going to get my cord out again here. And this time I'm going to clip it into the D ring on the waist, because that's what I'm trying to lift up. I'll put it up through the carabiner on the duck, wrap it round so I get my little hole system, fold the foot loop in half, and when I lift them up I can either disconnect the whole thing or you can take the rope out. Okay, so I'm going to lower them down using the cord. So we now have a clean run down to the ground. I just need to put my friction carabiner on. Bring my duck down a bit. And once I've dropped low enough, I'll put the new back up on. Remove my duck. And that's me ready to descend. Fast enough.